All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to review Atriox Series 6 World of Halo. Series 6 has introduced us to this brand new beautiful packaging. Rendition of Chief in the front, Atriox with the chain breaker. We have a Halo ring in the back. On the flip side, all six figures released in Series 6. We have already reviewed Master Chief from Halo 5, so be sure to check that out. Again, I am loving this packaging design, a traditional carded bubble as opposed to what we had before. Makes it easier to open. At last, we have Atriox. Here he is out of the packaging. Those of you that are hunting in store, here is the barcode to Atriox as well as the DPCI, so feel free to screenshot that and show it to your nice target employee. First thoughts, Atriox is hefty like we've seen with the rest of the brutes, especially Eshram. Um, no loose joints. I did on my previous Eshram have a loose torso and leg, but I am not having any of that right now with Atriox. Let's take a close-up of the sculpt and the paint. For this still being a $10 figure, they did not skimp out at all. Big, bulky armor pieces. You can see the braids within the beard, face paint, and then even these small little holes that are on the leather straps. It looks fantastic. Moving down from the UNSC belt, the quality does continue. You can see more of that silver plating. We have the contrast to the kneecaps. Backhand side looks just as good. Long ponytail leather straps. They even added muscle details to the triceps. That's freaking cool. And then more of the armor plating goes all the way down to the feet. Chain breaker looks great. Awesome sculpt to this. Leather straps and even the blades to this are like a translucent uh, type of plastic. So that's awesome. That looks really good. Jumping into articulation, I was actually worried that this shoulder armor was going to get in the way, uh, but it's actually molded to the chest piece, so Atriox's arms can go up about 90 degrees. From there, that shoulder is on a swivel joint, and we can actually rotate that all the way around. The elbow is on a hinge and swivel joint, so we can rotate all the way around. The left arm can break at 90 degrees, the right arm uh, just under 90 degrees. With the torso, 360 spins all the way around, not much flexion moving forwards or backwards. At the legs, we can go forwards, backwards. There is a swivel at the top of the thigh. We can move this all the way around. Double breaks here at the knees which has a lot of range of motion there. And then as we move that forward, the ankle is also on a little rocker swivel. We can spin this all the way around. Atriox does not come with a base plate, but he does have holes uh, to be placed on top of one. And finally, at the head, there isn't going to be a whole lot of articulation here just because of the nature of the beard and then also the ponytail. Um, but we can move from side to side and maybe just upwards and downwards just a little bit. Here we have a side-by-side -side comparison of Atriox with the rest of the Banished crew. Something I wanted to do was take the very first Brute released in the world of Halo and stand him next to Atriox. Something cool to mention with the evolution of these figures. Series 1, you can see the pins within the arm of the joint. Moving into Series 6, you can't see them anymore. Awesome. And of course, we have to stand Master Chief next to Atriox. Uh, this particular Chief came from the Anniversary 4-pack. Something neat I wanted to show you real quick was a pose of Atriox standing on one foot. Uh, I, anytime I can get a figure to pose or balance on one foot, uh, I think that's a great day, and Atriox can do that no problem. Alright y'all, that wraps up the review and unboxing of the new World of Halo Series 6 Atriox figure by Jazzwares. Overall thoughts, this is still a $9.99 figure, and that's crazy because you're getting a whole lot of figure for $9.99. Definitely the best brute that we have by far. Uh, my joints are solid, the construction is great. The sculpting on this is fantastic. Just the braids within the beard, the little leather straps, the muscles within the tricep. They've, they've just outdone themselves again with this figure. So with that being said, I don't really have any gripes to say about this figure. I found it at my local Target out here in Texas. Uh, you can see that entire toy hunt video on the Series 6 Halo 5 Chief review. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. My name is Nostalgic Adam. All one word where I do toy photography, toy videos, toy hunts, and all things toy related. Link in the description below. And I'll see y'all in the next video.